this worksheet, I'm going to add some problems here. What we're going to do is on number four, that number four, try this one like if this was to be to the second power. Okay, like if this is a quadratic function. Same idea with this one to the one to the fourth power. We're gonna add one two problems here. Number five. Okay, so we're gonna add five a because I have another five here, right? So five a would be f of x equals x cubed minus six x squared minus 27x. Okay. And number six, problem number six, 6a, the problem is f of x equals x to the fourth power minus 8x squared plus 15. Okay, so that's what you know we need to work on so that we can practice with that. And now do you want me to help, help you with one of the ones to the fourth power? Yes. Right? Okay, so the only homework you're going to have is one through six, those six problems. The bottom one, hold on to that because I'm going to have to show you scatter plots with a calculator. So let me go ahead and uh, I need a blank copy. Let me go down. Let me just do it down here, right here. Okay, so then I'm going to help you with the last one, which is f of x. That's number 6, right? 6a. Six, uh, f of x equals Four. x to the fourth power minus 8x squared plus 15 okay so uh, the instructions are the same ones the instructions the instructions are state the number of possible real zeros the turning points and then find all the solutions by factoring okay so let's let's do that possible possible real zeros so how many possible do we have it could be four or two or zero number of real zeros, okay? Uh, how many turning points? Turning points would be three. That is right, because that was one less than the maximum exponent, so it's three, great. And then the solution, right? So let me bring this up. up. Um, let me find the solution. So I need to factor that out. How can I factor that? Well, x squared, that's right. I put parentheses, x squared, and then x squared. So what two numbers, when you multiply them, is 15, but when you add them, is 8. 3 and 5. 3 and 5. Good job. 3 and 5. Okay, and then here I have a plus, which means that they're both the same sign. What sign? They're both negative, yes. Now that I have my two factors, let each factor equal to zero. And here's a little different. You can have x squared minus three equal to zero. How do I find x? Plus three, Plus three to both sides. X squared. X squared. Then you need to get a square root it. I need to get square rooted, that's right. But when you get the square root of that, you have to keep in mind that x is plus minus the square root of three. Then we do the same thing with the other factor. x squared minus 5 equals 0. x squared equals 5. We get the square root of both sides. So x equals plus, plus, minus, plus five. minus 5. And there you have the four zeros that you could have. That was the maximum number zero that you could have. Okay. Any questions on those six problems that you needed to do? I help you with one already. No? Okay, so then we're going to stop here. And uh, this is for my eighth period. If you finish the assignment before the bell rings, turn it in, and I'll give you 10 extra points. With you guys, if you give it to me by the end of the period, by the end of the day, bring it. Just.
slide it through the door, and I can also give you the 10 points. Okay? Any questions of what the assignment is? Okay. So I